Okay, creating a, a new campaign. We're going to talk briefly here about how to create a new campaign. And uh, you've, you know, once you have picked a customer profile, you know who your target market is, you know what you're selling to them, then you're ready to set up an ad campaign. Um, but you need to do all that work before you start here. And once you get into setting a campaign, there are just a tremendous number of options you have to, to, to get set up. So we're not going to also go into all that detail because that would just take a, long, a very long time. But we'll run you through the process here quickly, setting up a basic campaign so that you can understand how this works. So the first thing is, if you haven't created a campaign before, you'll probably be prompted in this area. It'll tell you that you don't have any campaigns yet, and, and you'll have a, a, a button to, to create your first campaign. We've already created some campaigns in here, so we're going to go down to this button down here and uh, click on that, and it will give us a choice for what kind of, or what type of campaign do we want to create. You know, the type that you choose tailors the campaign setup that's appropriate for the goals that you have. So it may eliminate some unnecessary features that you're not going to use. But we recommend that, you know, with, with a new advertiser or somebody who's new to this, uh, they would, we would recommend to them to search, the, to, to choose this, this first one, which is uh, both the search network and the display select because it's going to give you the wide, uh, widest number of options for, uh, for what you're going to create. And you'll get this new screen. And you can uh, choose to add all features by choosing this. And you'll get a whole lot more options in setting up your campaign. We're not going to get into that right now. We're just going to go with the standard. And if I by the way, if I had already created campaigns and I'd gone through this lengthy process of configuring campaign and, you know, since I already know my target market and I'm going to the same target market in my business, I may go here and choose uh, settings from a previous campaign that I've set up. So I don't have to go through all of that stuff again. Maybe I can go through and customize it a little bit for this different uh, campaign. But uh, once I've got all that set, then I can uh, set my campaign name. Now, your your campaign your campaign name is uh, important because you want to uh, you want to you want to have campaigns that generally cover different areas of your business. So let's say I'm I'm a real uh, a realtor, and you can see here I've already set up some campaigns uh, targeting first time buyers, luxury foreclosures and distressed sales and say I've decided I want to start doing listings and I want to target the luxury market so um, I'm going to create a campaign to get luxury listings and don't worry about your customers seeing this your customers aren't going to see the name of your campaign so this is just for your information okay the networks you this is already chosen for you because we've chosen the, the type of, of campaign that we're doing. So this is the networks we're going to see. You could uncheck including search partners here if you don't want it to appear on like AOL or some of these other Google partner uh, site search networks. But there's really no reason for you to exclude them. Uh, so you, you can keep them in there. Uh, you'll be shown on all devices by default. Um, it is possible for you to customize ads to show only on certain devices if you wanted to. Uh, you can do that. By default, your location is going to be everywhere in the United States and Canada. You could actually go just to the United States or you could go to a different country. Um, you could choose specifically, and say this is like if you're in a retail business, you you know, look, I'll say I here. Here I am in the in the real estate business. Obviously, in the real estate business, location is everything, right? So, uh, I'm going to want to be very, very specific about where I want my ads to show. Because let's say I want to do luxury listings, but I only want to do listings in 
a certain area. So I may choose, um, say, only in Laguna Niguel. And maybe the 20, 20 mile radius. also gives can give me options here I could say well you know anywhere in Orange County maybe I want to try to get luxury listings anywhere in Orange County so let's uh, I haven't added that yet let's go back to uh, locations here and just put in here Laguna Miguel, and it gives me a number of different options. I could also put in here just the zip code, you know, so the zip code for Laguna Niguel is 92677, when then I have these other options. This is a really good way to do this because now you've got, you know, I could say, well, I want to go, I want to target all of Orange County. I want to try to get listings anywhere in Orange County or only in the 48th Congressional District. <laughs> You know, go by congressional districts, there might be some reason for that. Um, or I could just say Laguna Niguel and see if only, there's only 77,000 possible users to reach in that area, so it might be too small. And so what I might do is say, well, you know, I, I want to add Laguna Niguel, but I'd like to also go nearby. So let's, uh, let's, well, let's remove this. And let's go to the radius targeting. And we can say, you know, within a certain area around it. And that'll give me a radius. I can also go by location groups. So I could choose, you know, places of interest, um, you know, it says here targeting different types of locations such as airports, universities, you know, places of interest like that. I, if I choose that, I choose airports, commercial areas, universities. Um, I could go by demographics, which you know could be you know by income levels. Um, it could be you know if I have location extensions installed or chosen. I could go into bulk locations um, where you would enter a lot of different locations. So those are all different types of options that you have here in choosing your location. So let's just say I'm going to choose the radius targeting and choose Laguna Miguel. Just say I want to get just listings in Laguna Niguel, and then click Done. Didn't, uh, didn't take there. Well, I'm going to save it. I could just enter it here as well. So let's just say I'm going to look for listings in Laguna Niguel. Um, I can also choose the languages. Now, if I'm if I'm targeting a different country, obviously I want to choose a language in that country. But maybe there's uh, you know a, a, an ethnic area of the town that uh, the area that I want to target. I may also want to um, choose that language as well. Uh, bidding strategy it sets it to manually, um, but I would recommend having AdWords set your bids automatically. And then you just give it a budget. Um, this is a max. So say you don't want to go over $10 a day, and then it'll go do that. Now, there may be a particular day in the month that it will go maybe, say, to $12. It can go up to 20% above your max bid, but that makes up for the lower days, too. So you average out so that you get about, about $300 a month. And then your ad extensions. And then once you're done with this, you can uh, 
you can then save and continue and move on and uh, continue to create uh, your ad groups and your ads. Mm -hmm.